hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel sales for sunt this is rohit and i hope you are good and doing well so today i'm going to show you how to work on the toss container in summer 23 pre-release org this feature is still in beta but uh, you can use it in your org if you have like summer 23 release org so how to use that let me show you here so first of all if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more update so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so let's get started here so I just created one component that is called toss container component under this container this toss container I have created some HTML so here you can see the combo box right B based on the multiple value I want to show the positioning of the toss message using this new module so under here in this combo box we have like name, progress, label toss position, value value, placeholder, options and the handle change. So under this handle change I have created one method inside our JS file. So I will show you step by step here. So just focus on that one first. And here you can see the selected value. I am just tracking that selected value inside this here in this paragraph and also I have created one button based on this button click I want to show the toss like top right top left top center bottom left bottom right bottom center so this kind of positioning we have in this toss container and basically toss container contain different types of uh, property first is maximum toss show so you can show maximum toss based on your input and also toss positioning left right bottom top based on your requirement you can use it and this is some HTML code here markup code just move into the JS file under this JS file I just imported this sort of message this is a standard one you know very well and this is the new one so th here this is new module under summer 23 release still in beta but you can use it right toss container so here in this component I just created one property let's say value under this here I just make it all the options here you can see like none top center top right top left bottom center bottom right bottom left right so based on our input we can show this toast right so first of all if you want to show this toss message uh, as a connecting callback you know like once the component is loaded at the time of if you want to show this toss so you can show it under this connecting callback otherwise you can show with the help of our event so handle change is the lightning combo box event this handle change I'm just capturing that value inside my value variable and this is the button click event under this button click I'm just using that toss container and module under this module we have instance method so this is toast container contain this type of property like maximum so and toast positioning so based on the dynamic value in this dynamic these all dynamic value comes under here based on the button click I want to show the toast so this is the whole process of this component so let's say I want to show this toast first of all uh, on this you know like let me cut this line on connecting callback at the time of component loading and this time I remove it and I'm just using the top center please observe here right and here let me add this top center right and let me deploy this component and you have to expose this component like it's exposed through and you can use it this component inside your record page home page or any kind of uh, like page you can show it right app page something like that once you deploy it let me open my org click on this open org so here you can see our org is open now and here you have to open any home page as you have it's like home let me click this home and here I already imported this component here so based on our input I want to show the 
toast message for now i just hard coded that value i want to show this dynamic value based on the this user selection i want to show the toast so first of all let me show you the hard coded value so just click on this success immediately you can see the toast message as a center so let me move our code and let me change this to, uh, top left so just left it here let me deploy this component and now and now just refresh it and once you click on this button you will be see the left corner in the left corner the toast message so here you can see that left laptop corner the toast message is come here right so based on the user selection i want to make it my toast message as visible so how to do that let me show you here so just open your vs code undo this code because i already mentioned that one so just let me undo this code and here this is the dynamic value like this dot value under the toast so let me deploy this code and let's see the output so this time you will be see different toast messages in different places different like laptop left right top bottom something like that right so let me open my org refresh it and once you refresh it you can see the lots of option in this combo box so let me take first example for this top center let me refresh this component first and let's see the output so you will be see different types of toast message based on the user selection let's say top center you can see the top center right close it and click on this top right you can see the top right here right and click on this top left and top left of the this toast message let me click on the bottom center and in the bottom you can see the toast message here same thing you can apply for rest of the things let's say bottom right bottom right you can see the toast message and same last one is bottom left click on this success bottom left you can see the toast message here so guys this is the way to implement this toast positioning in this new module toast container and you can use it anywhere as you want in your project this is a very useful and this is a user friendly and based on the client or user requirement you can implement this toast positioning anywhere in your component so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please like share comments and please hit the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys